Hey friend, there are a lot of myths out there about personal branding. And I want to emphasize that it's really important to recognize the fact that you need a personal brand before you can create and then implement a strong marketing strategy. Here's why. Your personal brand is the perception that others have of you. What they think, say, and feel about you when you walk in a room or when they see you online, even when they're consuming your content. There are many factors that influence your personal brand and that perception other people have of you. And you get to control that. And you can control that through your branding effort. Your branding efforts encompass communicating what makes you unique, what differentiates you from all others in your area of expertise. What experiences have you had on your journey to get to right to where you are today that have formed you, influenced you, helped you make the decisions you've made, given you the knowledge, wisdom, and expertise to now help other people who are just a few steps behind you. Maybe that's three months, maybe it's three years. But what are those key factors that differentiate you and how can you communicate those so that people understand that you are the one that they're meant to work with? Now, what is confusing most often is the fact that people think that your brand assets are your personal brand or your brand. Your brand assets are your topography, your color palette, and those physical, tangible things that help you stand out as being unique, but they don't tell your story. When you put all of these things together, your personal brand, your branding efforts, and your brand assets, you have your brand identity and you become recognizable, memorable, and shareable. So... As you approach your marketing strategy, think about how you can communicate what makes you unique because marketing is communicating. It's letting the world know what you do, how you do it, who you serve, and really building upon that so that people see and understand who you are, what you do in your business, and how you can solve a problem for them or help them solve the problem for themselves. All right, that is it for today. I thank you for watching. And if you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to leave a comment and be sure and subscribe to the YouTube channel or to the podcast, The Robin Graham Show, Success Without Social, so that you can have so much in terms of value and strategies to help you grow your business without social media.